Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome back to another lovely day on the Perfumium Duck SMP. I just noticed that there is a floating tree that no one can do anything about because this is in the admin claims. Oh, that's right in front of my spot ah oh. anyway uh wasn't expecting that distraction so i have been working on trying to settle on a palette that i'm going to have for the museum here and these are the six blocks that i'm going to be uh, mostly using there's going to be some accents of a few other things but uh, it's going to be as even a mix as possible because I don't want it to be overly dark. I also don't want it to be overly bright. I want it to be kind of, you know, mid-range. So we've got some dark and light, and I think it's a good enough mix here that I can work with. But uh, I have a long way to go before I start actually building the museum, which is going to be uh, probably everything from above the maze up. Uh, one thing is I still have to finalize my layout for this. I have put in some floors on each of these so that I can have a better visualization of how much the maze actually occupies per layer. Because when I had it all open air and everything, it was, it was hard to visualize because everything kind of blended together. Uh, I wanted to see what it looks like one layer at a time and get a better perspective on how much of each floor is taken up if I wanted to rearrange where some of the dead ends come in and go out and all that kind of stuff. So I have a little bit of uh, fidgeting left to do with this, but at least you can get maybe a better idea of how I have designed the maze, at least for now. Also you may notice that I have put some barricades in front of these doorways. And that is because the cow that was over across the way wandered out into there and has... Oh, where'd you go? And has started doing the maze. But I don't want the cow to get out, so uh, before I can put the cow back over there and have everything set up for, I don't know, uh, a... Oh, I, that could be part of the, the cafe. Uh, you can get the coffee and then you get some milk. But anyway, uh, I'm going to have a little spot over there for the cow. But until I have that all hammered out, I wanted to keep the cow safe. Uh, speaking of over here, not only is this spot mine, but you may notice that this part right here doesn't go all the way over. This is not mine. This is Ultimate Pressy. And this is not mine. This is Money Kobe. Money Kobe has bajillions of claims all over the place. But this right here, this tiny little spot that connects over, wasn't claimed. And it goes with this big old area. So now I have this claim. And I don't know why. Even though this is the top block here, like there's there's a whole bunch of layers, but it it puts the glowstone there. I don't understand why. Maybe if I were to fill that in with stone, it would make that be the top block. But it's it's unimportant. I have a plan for this. Actually, the the idea came from Cuddles on our server, the Refuge. We have. Uh, a she has this roller coaster that she built and it's, it's it's just this slow spiral that goes up and up and up and up and up and then you fall back down and you get popped off of the mine cart with a cactus and all that kind of stuff but it's almost the same proportion as this so we were thinking so apparently I'm going to have to be a little careful when moving around from place to place in this area because one of these chunks has something going on that I keep 
crashing whilst batching chunks, apparently. So, uh, I forget exactly what I was saying, but we have a sort of a plan for this, uh, turning it into the a similar roller coaster to what we have on our uh, private server that we uh, have been playing on since, I, th I think, 2018, off and on. But uh, it's just about the right size. It might have to be a slightly smaller diameter circle, or spiral, I should say, but I think it's going to work out. But instead, this time, I think we're going to go all the way from build height to bedrock. Instead of just having it ground level up, we're going to have it there. And the ticket booth or whatever is going to be accessed from the cafe here. So that's that. Um, there is some other news, and this is more Performium news. Uh, the old website that they were using through engine i think uh, they have updated their website to a new one and when you register on the website uh, you can get some rewards and registering is just you you link your uh, minecraft and maybe if you want your discord account but you get some rewards and some of them include tokens or performium experience or gems. Uh, so that might be a good way to get a, a small little influx of gems if you are unranked and want to get iron rank so you can at least teleport on the server. You can uh, register an account on the website and you should be able to get enough gems, just enough to buy iron rank. And once again, that's uh, gems. You come in here, you do ranks and upgrades, and then you can get gems. And I don't know how much it is because I already own it. Uh, speaking of I already own it, because of gems earned on RGA streams, I have managed to get to Bedrock rank. And Cuddles has managed to get to Netherite rank. And I'm not far behind her because just today, Saturday, I have uh, gotten, I think, 1,750 more gems from RGA's stream from the little mining mini game. But that's not all. The token that I mentioned in passing when you register on the website can be... Hold on. P weather clear. P time at uh, noon. The tokens that you can get from registering on the website... I don't know if it's guaranteed, but you can. Uh, you can redeem for items. And... Uh, one of the things that the items have an issue with, I found out after I redeemed the token, is they get given to you with the Global Vault. And on this server, Global Vault is inaccessible. You can't view it and you can't withdraw from it. You can, I think you can put things in. It says deposits only, but you can't take things out. So let me go to another server here. So I'm over here on the Lightning SMP, and you can see that I can access the Global Vault, and it is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You get, oh, I, that's 9 is a row, okay. Um, you get 8 uh, empty slots for the Global Vault, I think, because uh, if you're Bedrock rank, and probably 9 if you're uh, Netherite rank, yeah, netherite rank, and this is gold membership and platinum membership, diamond, VIP, and VP. You can also uh, buy items, or you can buy slots on this, I think, one at a time, but whatever. Uh, the purpose of me talking about this is I, I hopped onto lightning here, and I saw my item sitting in here, but I could no, I didn't want to pull it out because I don't want it on this server. This is just uh, me killing time server. Uh, what I want is back over on Duck SMP. That's where I want to have my item because that's where basically I live and work and where I've been doing all of my builds. So let me get back over there and show you what I got. Now, a, not a lot of mods are allowed on... Uh, Performium, you can have mods that maybe, like the the 
inventory mod of this over here, NEI or JEI, whatever it's called. Uh, you can have this on because uh, you can't do anything with it that is going to interfere with uh, the, the server. You can't have any really advantage. It's basically you're looking up recipes and, and you can also bookmark stuff. Uh, I have this list over here of things that I was putting into one of the care packages. But uh, one of the mods that you can have is Optifine. And Optifine makes it so that, among other things, you can zoom in and you have um, like shadow and, and distance and, and chunk optimization and that sort of thing. Even though I still get uh, crashing whilst uh, caching chunks or whatever. But uh, one of the interesting features of Optifine is is if you're holding a torch, you emit some light. If you go somewhere dark, you get to have light coming with you if you're holding a torch. But also, beacons emit light. So, if you're holding a beacon, you also can emit light. So I had a wonderful idea for an item. Uh, if I come over here, you can see that I have a nice sparkly glowing thing on my head, and it is a beacon. I have my space helmet. Greetings, fellow space travelers. I got it over here. As a matter of fact, while I was AFK just a little bit earlier, uh, I came back after I had put a, a support ticket on the site. It got answered almost immediately by the item being taken out of my global vault and then just put in my inventory. So very, very happy with that. Aqua affinity, respiration, so I can do stuff underwater. Thorns because, you know, thorns and protection because protection is good. I didn't want to go ham with it. I could have gotten a whole bunch of other uh, enchants for level 10. Uh, respiration only goes up to 3, but that's okay. Uh, apparently anything much above 3, I think even 4, which Op God Helmet has 4, it doesn't work properly, so 3, I believe, is the limit. But anyway, I'm quite thrilled with this. I have light on my head, and it looks like a space helmet. Uh, let's come over here. F5, F5. Hello! Aha! Space helmet. Yes! Now, uh, also underneath, because it is a beacon, the bottom of the beacon gives that little black glowy bit underneath uh, because it's enchanted. But uh, one of the interesting things, because I am bedrock rank, is I have uh, command. You see I've got some durability loss on my chest, my pants, my pick, and my bow. Oh, and these three things here. If I do... Fix all. Everything gets fixed at once. It's all done, taken care of, so that's lovely. I can also give myself a skull. Uh, let's see here. Give skull. Hmm. Who has been helpful recently? Ender Lady X. I now have Ender Lady X's skull. Now, the reason why I'm wearing this beacon on my head is because I have the ability to do slash hat. I have to make sure I don't accidentally place this, but uh, hat, uh, hat, it goes on to my head like that, and that's how that happens. Uh, I, I don't know what rank you have to be to have hat, but it isn't uh, a generic command that you can get you have to be at least some rank and I, I don't know what it is but I now have Ender Lady X's skull I'm going to give that to her in a little bit but yeah uh, that's nice but what else is nice <laughs> since the new ticket system has been implemented I was one of the first to uh, reapply for the uh, role and rank that I have been trying to get for uh, several months now and I had back in 2017, 2018, but because of the new uh, merger and the new system, the Rising Stars and all that kind of stuff, they redid it. So it, the old rank doesn't count anymore. So I had to apply for a new version of the rank. And now it shows up. I am YouTube rank dot YouTube. So... That is exciting for me. I am YouTube rank on the Discord. I'm in the 
uh, what what's the tab called or the the group the role what is it what is it what content creators I am in the content creators and uh, I have a nice red name and all that kind of stuff but that's some exciting things also exciting home home I have been working off and on oh good I didn't crash this time uh, with the ocean area Oops, I put that head there. Hey, it's the four of us. The uh, OG group. That's the best beast. Love, Cuddles, me, and Enderlady X. And it's not all of the OG group, but, you know, it's a start. Uh, you, I'm tilting my head in this direction so that you can see. This is where I had left off on the, the previous episode. And it's it, it was some progress, but more progress has been made. Actually, even more progress has been made on here because I have been uh, placing some more sponges and getting some more stuff out there. I do need to get more torches so that I can have some more light going on. Oh, my first skull that I made was green. <laughs> Just because I haven't seen green's head in all of our massive collection of heads. So there's green. But um, I have, let's say here, home a volcano. I have a little bit of work for me today. I need to get some stuff done here before I do anything else. And the anything else, I think I might have enough resources to, oh yeah, look how far over we've gotten. You can't even see the edge. Oh, there, you can barely see the edge over there. Uh, I think I've gotten enough resources to do some of the wall around the the, the, the main house, the wood for the stump, to get the back layer of the, uh, the bark in place. So I'm going to do a little bit of measuring with that and see if I can get that taken care of today, at least a little bit. Because I want to make a little bit of forward progress there. But before I can do that, I can't just leave these sponges out in the middle of nowhere. Because I don't trust everyone who comes on here to look at a project and go, hmm, this is clearly something important. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest all these. Uh, I, I know in a previous video I did say that harvesting with the hoe, you can see it comes back. But it does pop off. If I just do a little bit, like one little block at a time, and give it a second, it's not as good as if I were running down in a line and going dig, 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 because that, they won't come off one at a time. But doing it like this, yeah, there's a delay, but it's less work. So I have been using the hoe to do this. Oh, and harvesting a sponge with a hoe doesn't use the hoe's durability. I think that's interesting. So anyway, I'm going to get rid of all these sponges and get them cooking. And then I think it's time for me to do a little bit of work back at the house. So I'm going to do this. I wanted to get the video started. Oh, also, before I get too far on... Uh, well, I've just been reminded for several things. Uh, since you're watching... Ow! Ow! Yes, yeah, since you're watching... Ow! Uh, since you're watching, why don't you go ahead and scroll down and click on that subscribe button so that you can help me get to my goal of 2,000 subscribers. Uh, I... Oh, I forgot to update the sign! I forgot to update the sign. Please don't crash. Home, home. Let's do this. There's a cuddles. Check it out, check it out. 
1875. New people, greetings, fellow space travelers. Welcome to the universe. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to work on the sponges, get those off the walls, get them cooking, and I'm going to come back here and see about putting in the back layer of the walls for going around the stump. Oh, oh, that is one other thing that I wanted to mention. The, where is it? Right about here. If I stand or fly right here, I can see all four of the walls of the base. All of them are visible at the same time from right about here. So I'm going to put maybe another observation platform. I'm going to be building a, a, a spongy morel on top of the house. I was going to have it come out of this side of the roof, but now that I know that this is roughly where the look at everything spot is, I think I'm going to have to do it over here. Eh, well, I mean, I guess I could have it come over here and have it flare out, but I don't want it to be that big of a mushroom. I'll think about it, but right here is a much better spot. This for sure is still getting replaced by mushroom, but this is the visibility spot for the whole thing. So later on this episode, I'm going to see about getting this in, probably do some counting to see uh, how much I'm going to need, because each side is 157, so that's definitely more than two stacks per row per side and there's lots of rows you can see right there there's one two three four five six seven eight nine there's at least nine rows visible right there there's some more on top and then it does need to come in a little bit so there's a there's a lot of building to do uh, it's not as many blocks as I had originally feared it would be because I'm going to bring it in from the overflow on the outside because uh, everything outside of this line is uh, besmirchable by others and people have begin have begun besmirching bits of it. So I'm going to bring it in so that it's just this is the extreme part of it. So that's part of my plans for today but for sure I need to get those sponges up so I'm going to get back to work over there and quit distracting myself with this intro and I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty after a whole bunch of digging and a little bit of hole filling I have shaved the wall back it is now all the way contained within the claim it's a tad thinner than it was but it's kind of necessary, as you can see, there's a little bit of, you know, growth nearby, but that's, I guess, to be expected. But I have finished it, and I have realized that with the amount of time that it's going to take to get anything else done for this, it would just be way too much to get started on the next phase today. And I have a whole bunch of other little busy work things that I need to do behind the scenes to uh, prepare for some other stuff, including getting a bunch more building materials, some some black terracotta and different logs and things like that. Uh, so I am going to actually just go ahead and wrap things up. Be Wait a minute. Hold on. Why does Cuddle's dog keep moving? How did it get here? I don't know, bud. That's... That's weird. Okay. Anyway, it used to sit here. And then it got shoved over here, I think. And then it appeared down in the base, and it got moved back up here. Then it got back down there again. Then we moved it overlooking Jack. And then it disappeared from there, and now it's up here. She said she found it, but I wasn't quite paying attention to where... How did you get here? Anyway, I'm just full of distractions today. Lots of different things that my mind is 
going after and not all of them are the things that I need to be going after. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. I do appreciate it and it does help. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please do go ahead and subscribe. Hello, zombie. Oh. So that you can see when my future stuff comes out and to help me get to that 2,000 subscriber mark. Uh, I have actually several plans for several more episodes including moving some mobs around uh so that's going to be fun uh so do be on the lookout for some future stuff i have some other videos that i've been needing to finish up and get out so that's something to look forward to and also uh, i have some other projects that aren't necessarily video related that I'm I've been spending quite a lot of time on including trying to get my next book published so I I am busy 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 uh, but I'm going to try to stay on top of this at least once a week this week was a little bit later than I liked because well Thanksgiving and all that but that that's all right uh, but next week I should have something uh, a bit sooner than uh, this late so I'm going to let you go. Thank you very much for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.